Hey there YouTube, welcome back to uh, my proper black uh, powder update uh, for this, uh, what are we, probably in sort of mid-February, mid to late February. Um, yeah, finally finished my Carpe French. Uh, they took a long time to do. Um, I'm talking, I was doing a fair bit of six hour painting sessions on these guys and they took about six days. Um, so I was probably putting in a good, certainly well over uh, 20 hours on these guys, um, definitely. Uh, I, I certainly had a, a good few uh, six hour painting sessions uh, and they would have been longer, um, but uh, the, it was basically because the natural light died um, and I just couldn't paint uh, any longer. So uh, uh, that was basically my... Uh, cue to stop uh, painting for that particular day uh, but I think overall um, I'm really proud of them um, they painted up really well I don't think I've ever enjoyed uh, painting a battalion of 24 figures uh, so much as, as I did with these guys uh, every sculpt has got its own personality uh, even if it's like the same pose it still has uh, differences compared to another I, 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 there's very few uh, duplicates within this uh, this whole group um, every single one has, has, has got its own little difference um, now those differences are repeated in other positioned figures uh, but um, all of them are like I say have all got their own uh, little bit of uniqueness and even the officers uh, had um, like these sort of uh, I don't think they're full size backpacks but they're kind of like uh, satchels uh, in the same sort of style as 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 uh, a, a normal trooper's backpack, but kind of uh, just slung over their shoulder as a sort of um, a knapsack. Really cool. Uh, like I say, I enjoyed, uh, really enjoyed painting them all. Um, and again, I employed lots of new techniques um, uh, that I uh, added to these guys. Um, extra painting steps, uh, extra uh, shading. Um, and highlighting um, and uh, it's all uh, although you know I, I may not paint figures quite to this full-on standard um, but I've certainly learned a lot of uh, little techniques that that will help me paint uh, French uh, hopefully a lot faster in the future um, you know finding out I was experimenting with lots of different base colors uh, not only on uh, the, the great, well, particularly on the great coats, but um, also on the trousers uh, and the white parts as well. Yeah, so let's get into this review before I start waffling on forever. Uh, these guys are the. Uh, let me just bring in a little thing from the flag. So these are the 56th line, and you can see that along with the 12th that I did um, last time, uh, they will make up um, in reality the first brigade. Uh, of, of 11th division um, but of course I um, abridge the 1st and 2nd brigades uh, to make a, a single battalion of 4 units because I don't um, I'm, you know, I'm not making multiple units or multiple battalions uh, per regiment so this marks the halfway point for my French uh, and I'm very very happy that leaves me basically with 2 and 2 2 British, 2 uh, French um, I may well take a little bit of a break um, from working on this particular project for a while um, just because I've got to basically get uh, a box of parries, uh, probably late French parries, uh, to be able to make my last two battalions of uh, for the French. Um, and obviously I'll mix in my remaining uh, metal figures because I, I do have a few um, Calpe and uh, a fair bunch of... Um, front rank uh, still left for both my British and my French. Um, now for the British, um, I've got a little bit more of a problem in the fact that um, they have got obviously two battalions as well, but one of them is light. Um, I'm going to have to get that light, but I haven't 100% figured out what I'm going to do for them yet because um, they they do look different to uh, the second KGL. Um, I mean, they've more or less got the same uniforms, but they don't have the ribbons on their, on their hats and a lot more of them are in um, kind of regular uniform but in green um, where like it's particularly officers where the uh, the officers of the second obviously were wearing sort of more rifle gear 
but that's a problem for another day. Let's get back onto these guys. Uh, let's start uh, start from the Voltiers. It's time for a change. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. So here we go. Uh, the unit of Voltiers. Um, we have a mixture of uh, grey and uh, khaki on these guys. And we have two with blue trousers. And you can just see, like, there's one that hasn't even got a silver briquet there. So we've got silver briquet, we've got one without. We've got pans and kettles and pots of various types on their backpacks. We have uh, three of them with uh, their horns, and I have one with one of my warlord transfers on. Although, theoretically, I could have left it blank. And you can see a nice uh, mixture of water bottles even. Like every single one of those guys has got a different water bottle. Really nice faces too. The muskets are a little bit thinner than front rank. But there's not too, there's not too much difference. And of course all of them have got uncovered shakos. So I was able to put the, uh, the yellow banding on. Uh, because they obviously with the great coats on you can't see the yellow collars but yeah very happy with those guys beautiful figures you can see uh, some of my experimental highlighting and shading going on I think it worked out really really well um, a lot better than just the bland sort of khaki with a bit of Agrex Earthwatch shading um, although it doesn't really show up quite as well as it does in real life um, on camera. But yeah, so that's the Voltiers. Next up we'll go for the uh, fourth company. So here we have um, the only two front rank uh, troopers that are in this unit. So I'd put them into the fourth company. Uh, I think they fit in quite well actually. And then we've got a single uh, guy there. Uh, from Calpe and we've got one of the uh, the enthusiastic poses in the background there urging his guys to uh, forward for France and again we have uh, this guy with a uh, sort of a bedroll on the back of his uh, knapsack and a copper cup and this guy has a loaf of bread on the back of his and we've got one of the infantrymen uh, with a, a grey pair of trousers so that is the fourth company next up the grenadiers Grenadiers with the uh, the sapper, of course. A great way to save yourself a, a grenadier figure, and uh, basically standard practice for me now. Whenever I have a sapper figure, um, great way to uh, to save yourself a grenadier figure, um, because we all know uh, boxes uh, like a Perry's box, for instance, to get uh, two battalions out, you need to add. Um, I can't remember if it's two or four. Um, of your own Voltiers or Grenadiers to to, uh, to more or less make that battalion and a couple of normal troops. Uh, but of course these guys are always the problems because you never get as many of the epauleted guys as, um, or pauldron guys as, as uh, you do uh, normal uh, fusiliers. But yeah, we've got differences of uh, sabre briquets, some covered, some uncovered. Sapper's got his uh, his axe. He's got his sapper markings on his arm. We have his uh, he's got a carbine uh, on his back, and his, and the strap goes across his waist. And then this guy at the back here, he's got a copper kettle for uh, heating up water. And like I say, another loaf of bread and a um, 
frying pan of some sort on the back of him and, and you can also see uh, a different style of uh, of uh, stuff on the back of his backpack there some uh, I don't know what that would be probably some like maybe bedding or um, some waterproof uh, tarpaulin of some sort uh, with stuff wrapped up in it but yeah so that's the grenadiers uh, a little bit of a bent Bayonet on that guy. Yep, that's those. Very happy with those guys. Next up, we go for the drummer stand. So here we have the drummer. Uh, of course, he's wearing a great coat. So obviously his uniform uh, is not showing, but he's actually got a, he'll have a green uh, uniform with white facings. Uh, again, thanks to my uh, favourite French website for giving me the colour, the, the, the colour details on these guys. Uh, I tried to, it showed them with the, uh, with the light, this sort of really light grey, uh, great coats and khaki, great coats. So I decided to stick with those colours and not normally. Uh, go the four colour palette of mixing in some like some mirage blue and a couple of different uh, variations of grey and stuff. But again, you can see a, a great little uh, concoction of different things on the backs of their backpacks. So we've got like a an extra water bottle there or a gourd of something, a satchel of something or a, a pouch or something there, on the back of his, some kind of big. Uh, I'm not sure if that would hold. Uh, extra water or perhaps it's got meat in it or something like that on the back of his and uh, a lowly pair of extra shoes on the back of his and another enthusiastic fuser there shouting out his uh, a morale boosting uh, onward comrades or viva la emperor whatever and of course the drummer. So uh, that's those guys. Uh, yeah. Uh, next up the NCO. Of course this NCO uh, is uh, a convert. It's not an actual NCO figure. Um, you can tell that by the fact that he's got a bayonet on his, on his own. And, and a sabre bouquet separate. But I thought well you know. Um. Not all sergeants were issued sabre bouquets with attached bayonets, and I thought this guy uh, prefers to have his bayonet separate, uh, you know, sort of a field modification of his own uh, webbing. So he's basically got himself a standard Fusilier's uh, um, strap with the bayonet attached, and he could basically have um, either a, uh, a belt uh, with his sabre bouquet. Uh, poked through uh, a hole in the side of his um, great coat, or maybe he's just got one strapped on there somehow. But yeah, I think he makes a really good NCO figure. His position is like perfect for a sergeant. I've given him the sergeant stripes. It's very difficult to, to tell that he's uh, a sergeant really, but I think his position is is just like very uh, very NCOy. And of course, uh, three other normal fusiliers. Um, and what delights have these guys got on their backpacks? So we have another lo a half eaten loaf of bread this time, a couple of uh, frying pans, and an, an extra gourd. Or maybe, actually, that is his water bottle. Or has he got it up the front? Yeah, he is a, it's an extra water bottle. So yeah, that's the uh, NCO stand. And then, oh, is that, yeah, somebody, another one, uh, one with, uh, is that grey trousers? I think it could be. And you can also see that some of them have got some, uh, some patching. Uh, and also there's a few with patching on their, um, yes, on their great coats too. Really cool figures. And then finally, of course, my favourite stand, as always, the command stand. Um, these guys are all uh, Calpe, and uh, here's the flag for the, so we can get it in there, 50, 
56 is that? I've forgotten already. Yes, 56. GMB of course. And here we have the uh, Eagle Bearer. Looking quite proud. And the kernel here. I thought this guy made quite quite a good kernel. Sort of quite an enthusiastic position. He's got like a moustache. Then we have the uh, eagle protector on the the back. There's amazing uh, embossed uh, sergeant stripes and his. Uh, extra uh, chevrons up top to show that he's a chef de battalion and on the back of these guys there's the satchels I was telling you about They're kind of like slightly smaller than a than an average uh, trooper's backpack but uh, in the same sort of style and we have a copper frying pan or a bronze, probably copper copper frying pan on the back of this guy and then um, uh, at the back here we have the uh, the first lieutenant, and he's he hasn't got uh, that much gear, but he's got his red stripe to show that he's a first lieutenant, and he has actually got a gorget uh, gorget uh, just inside the crevice of his uh, great coat there, and uh, you can see that the uh, the lower ranks uh, don't have. Um, red collars where the colonel uh, does and obviously the really cool uh, eagle protector guy this time and, and for the first time uh, one that doesn't have a moustache which is really cool but yeah that's that is uh, the 56th uh, all made up out of Calpay and uh, I think overall I'm really really happy with them um, and they will be uh, a great addition to my French army so that is uh, the end of this video uh, again uh, thank you uh, I've, got, I've had uh, another bunch of subscribers I think I'm up to uh, 283 now so I'm really getting close to the 300 mark uh, thank you for subscribing. hope you enjoy my uh, content. Um, uh, obviously, I've been watching all your, your, you guys' videos. Uh, really enjoying your stuff. And uh, that's about it. So, uh, until next time, I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.